She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me. 81, they'll bring the crashes to the party. What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to get some quick and easy VC. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously load onto your player, but make sure it's your highest overall player because the higher overall you are, the easier it will be to get some VC. So if you're a 95 overall, you're gonna get double VC, so this method is great, but I'm only a 91 overall. So I'm not gonna be getting double VC or anything, but if you're a 91 overall, you have the on-court coach badge, so in my career, people will pass the ball to you anytime you need, and that's pretty useful for this method. And also, if you're a 90 overall, you can control the amount of minutes you have and if you start or not. So once you finally load into a neighborhood, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you're on pro difficulty and make sure that you're on five minutes. The difficulty doesn't matter too much. I just put it on pro because pro and hall of fame get the same amount of VC this year, but minutes definitely matter. Make sure you're on five minute quarters. So once you're done with that, you're gonna wanna go to league settings and my minutes. And again, you can only do this if you're a 90 overall, but this method still works no matter what overall you are. So if you're a 90 overall or above, you're gonna wanna put your minutes to 24 and put yourself on the bench and make sure that you replace yourself with somebody that can play your position. For example, if you're a center, you're gonna wanna replace yourself with somebody that can play center. So what I did is I found a center on the bench and I just switched my spot with him and then after that I put myself to the very bottom of the bench. It's very important to make sure that the person that you replace yourself with is the same position as you because if they're not then the coach can make a switch and you're actually going to start the game which will make you play more minutes and that's not what you want because it's going to make this method take a lot longer so just make sure you're on the bench. So after that, you're gonna wanna load into a game, and I'm not gonna skip anything in this video, I'm just gonna fast forward everything. So if you see parts where I'm not talking, you can just skip over, but I'm gonna leave it there just so you guys know that this is not a fake method. So once you load into the locker room, you're gonna wanna go to league stats and my minutes once again just to make sure that nothing has changed because every once in a while, when you're on the bench, and you're doing this method you're gonna start randomly so before every game you just have to make sure that the coach did not put you in the starting lineup so that's the last thing that you're gonna need to do when you start the game so before the game just spam x and skip the shoot around and then once you finally load up into the game you're just gonna want to foul and once you get two fouls it's gonna take you out You'll be on the bench and you spam X again until you're back in. So you're going to get put in in the second quarter. You're going to have two fouls and you're going to want to foul two more times. If you're a 90 overall and you put yourself on the bench with 24 minutes, it's going to simulate to halftime. And if you're up or down by 11, then you can just sim out of the game. You don't have to do anything and you get your VC. But if you're under a 90 overall, once you get four fouls, it could be halftime, but it's probably going to be around the end of the second quarter with two or three minutes. So during those two or three minutes, if you're up by 11 or more, all you need to do is maintain the lead, wait till halftime, and then you can simulate. But if you're up by 10 or less, you're probably just going to want to throw the game and let the other team score so that by halftime, they'll be up by 11 or more. Once it's halftime, if your team's up by 11, like once all the halftime cutscenes come, you're not going to want to spam X because if your team's up by 11 and you're on the bench and you're just spamming X, it'll put you in the game and instead of 5 minutes in the third quarter, there might be 2 minutes or something like that and your team might only be up by 5 then. So actually during this first game that I played, I was not up by 11 and I wanted to throw the game but I didn't want to get any turnovers. I just pressed X because I had on court coach and I made sure to press X and call for the ball when I was on this side of the court. And if you're on this side of the court and you're not a point guard, the point guard is going to come to you, he's just going to wait by you and he's going to want the ball. So once the clock hits 16 seconds, you're going to want to press X, pass to the point guard and it will not be your turnover. This will make it take a little bit longer, but it will give you more VC per game because it won't ruin your teammate grade and you won't get the turnover for it. So I just kept doing this and then on defense, I left my man open, but you're not going to want to run totally away from him because then your teammates are just going to make switches on defense and the other team might not score. So what you're going to want to do on defense to let your man score, you're going to have to lay off of him a little bit, but then you're going to want to occasionally run back to him. So I stayed kind of close to my man and gave him an open lane to cut, 
but I didn't like totally run away from him because then a teammate would switch onto him. So that's basically what I did for this whole game. I'm just gonna fast forward the rest of it because you guys probably get the point. If you don't get the point, you guys can just rewind. As you can see, after this first game, I got 569 VC. So if you're a 95 overall, you'll get double that. And also to increase your salary, if you're either in your first season or if you're on the last year of your contract, what you're going to want to do is play really well a few games. Just play on 12 minute quarters, maybe play one, two or three games, something like that. And then you're going to want to sim the rest of the season. And if you play good in those one to three games, your season stats will sim like those. And you're probably going to win MVP because of that. You're going to get a bunch of awards. And then once you sign a new deal in free agency, you're going to want to click one of the top three teams. And because you played good in the past season, they're going to give you a ton of VC. So your salary is going to go up because of that. So after the game, I just spammed X until I got to the locker room. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, it says continue, nav, and phone. So once you click nav, do not start the game right away. Go to league stats, my minutes, make sure you still have 24 minutes and make sure you're still on the bench. And then right after you're done with that, you can load up the game. So what I used to do is I used to continue. I used to just go into the neighborhood and then load up another career game. But I never knew that you can click triangle, open up your NAV, and then play another game without leaving the locker room. This has helped me save so much time on loading screens and it's helped me get so much VC because of that. So after loading up the game, it'll load you back into the locker room again. Then you're just gonna wanna head to the court, skip the shoot around, do all that stuff. Once the game starts, you're just going to want to do the same thing you did last game. You're going to want to foul twice, and then it'll send to the second quarter. You're going to want to foul two more times, and then it will be halftime. So in this game that I played right here, at halftime, we were down by 19 points, which is good. And once you get to the screen that shows your coach, your teammate grade, your PER, plus, minus, all that stuff, do not spam X anymore because my team was down by 19 right here. But if I would have pressed X while I was on the bench, they could have played really well and we could have been up by maybe seven or eight, which is not enough to sim because you have to be up or down by 11 or more points to sim out of the game. So after you sim, as you can see, you get no rep. This method's very good for VC, but not for rep. And so I got 640 VC this game. And since I didn't have to get any leave assignments to throw the game or anything like that, I got no VC for the teammate grade, which is good because it wasn't any negative VC. Then I got 50 for stats, 590 for salary. So as long as you keep doing this method and you just stay in the locker room instead of loading out back into the neighborhood, you can get a lot of VC per hour. This method has helped me make a ton of new players. Like I actually have four players right now. I have two centers, a guard, and a small forward. And my center, I made him not too long ago. He's already an 80 overall, and that's basically from doing this VC method. And this method, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty boring. But you can do it while you're watching TV, while you're doing homework, while you're watching YouTube, anything like that. So make sure you just don't grind this method without anything to do, because that's gonna make it even more boring. So like I said before in this video, if you're a 95 overall, you're going to get double VC, so that'll help. If you're a 91 overall, you're going to have on-court coach to help you. And if you're a 90 overall, you're going to be able to change your minutes and put yourself on the bench. But if you're under a 90 overall, I still suggest this VC method. You're going to get a little bit less VC, but the method will still help as long as you have a high salary and you keep your teammate grade high. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you guys have any questions at all, just comment them below. Like if I didn't explain a part well enough, like if you don't understand anything, just comment below and I'll reply to it. And I want to give a quick shout out to Nemo for making my overlay. If you guys like it, let me know. It's very simple, but in my opinion, it looks very nice because of that. So make sure to go subscribe to Nemo. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And one more thing really quickly, if you guys find this method helpful, make sure to share it with your friends. So thank you guys again for watching. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, mama built the saint. Yeah, counting up the O's, I think. Yeah, looking at the O's, I drink. We 
can't see that on the road. I blank. Yeah, mama built the saints. 